What's up, my spectacular gaming soldiers, and welcome back to Gaming So Spectacular. And I am your host, as always, Sergeant First Class Spectacular, a real sergeant working hard, on the mic, rocking it right. Anyway, today is going to be a spectacular review. Did, did those words come up? No? Ah, fuck it. Anyway, we'll get it right. It, but this, this is an indie game review. It's going to be what I like to call Retro Classics. Did that? Did that sparkle enough? I, I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was good. EA Sports. 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 It's in the game. EA Sports, it's in the game. It's in the game. EA Sports, it is the game, baby. EA Sports, EA Sports, EA Sports, EA Sports. it's in the game. It's in the game. I guarantee you, baby, it's in the game. <laughs> NFL 2005. Oh, yeah, okay, that was good. Anyway, first ever to be reviewed on these retro classics is a game I loved to play back in the day, and I, I whipped much ass and took no names because I don't need names. It's just a long line of endless losers on this list. Madden 2005. Now, what a game this was. Back then when Madden come out, you know, it, it just kind of like now, it was kind of a year after year, cookie quarter, kind of same thing, and I think they were just doing roster updates at the time because internet was still new to the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. But this game stood out in my mind because of one thing. Defense. 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 Nothing like a linebacker come across the line and ah, laying a big hit on your punk ass. Defense was the order of the day in Madden 2005. The overview of this game. Things changed greatly. A little history lesson here. 2K, NFL 2K5 was out at that time and it put up a hell of a fight. I think, I dare say if it was on the track to stay, it probably would have killed Madden just as 2K basketball killed live. Anyway, when 2K came out, it had realistic crowds, commercial broadcast. The presentation was off the hook. Pass and Saint game was pretty good. The graphics were awesome for the time. I mean, it was a great all around package, but to boot, they offered a $19.99 price tag which forced Madden for the first time, and I think the only time in its history, to drop its price to $39.99. But at that time also, Madden was 15 years old, it had its 15 year anniversary, and my man, well he ain't my man, but my, they had Ray Lewis on the cover. It was a pretty good thing. The hit stick was new, uh, controlling your men at the line, your whole defensive setup was new, it was awesome. Well, let's move into the graphics. Now the graphics on this game were pretty great and they were awesome for their day. Quarterbacks looked like quarterbacks, your running back took on, you could stiff arm, you saw the crowd had some interaction. They even had two things I love where you could see the crowd, you could create your own fan. When you would kick that field goal at the end, the camera would freeze and things would pan out from the kicker's view. The graphics were great. Secondly, being a sports game, story-wise, the things are the same. The order of the day is to beat up your opponents, make your way to the playoffs, and bam, win that trophy, win the Super Bowl. Well, still to this day, sports games are pretty cookie cutter when it comes to the playoffs, so things didn't get too much more exciting when you made the playoffs. You might've got a extra line or two from Madden and Pat Summerall at the time, but things were pretty bland, pretty drab, you couldn't tell. Gameplay-wise, this thing, to me, was the pinnacle was an awesome control experience. 
I mean, offense does wait on defense, right? But defense had, at the time, the ability to, on the fly, pull the line in, push one man back, push a safety out in the field, put a corner back, uh, maybe bring a linebacker up, blitz. The hit stick was in play where you took a risk and tried to hit him. Boom. Awesome. Sound also was great. And I think the last three years before this, Madden, they all had licensed soundtracks with tracks from Bubba Sparks, Busta Rhymes, all types of people from back then. That was the license tracks. The in-game sounds were phenomenal and great. You could hear the crowd chant. They would yell defense. You could hear the quarterback call audibles, the football, the sounds and the crunch and that hit stick. It all bring it home. The sounds were on point in this game. I personally love Madden 2005. I still have it. From time to time, maybe I'll go back and play it. It was an awesome game. It just, it, it, it had things, even though 2K was his rival, it had things that made it different and stand out, even from its predecessors. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this. I will give this game overall a nine to this day. Still wouldn't change the score. Now you might disagree and that's okay. Go ahead and tell me down in the comments below. But if you agree, support your boy in the comments below. Either way, like, rate, comment, do what you do. Hey, and remember until next time, if you can't be good, be good at it. Peace. I believe I've shattered my pantaloons.